Are you in the market for a 1967 to 72 Chevy or GMC radiator core support? If so, I'm glad you're here. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that GM made lots of changes to the parts over this six year body style. Now it was either gonna be the hoods, the hood latches, the fenders, the doors, the bumpers, the grills. Guess what? They changed the radiator supports too. Why? I don't know. GM had a very hard time of keeping the parts of these old trucks the same for more than a year at a time. And it can be very confusing to figure out which parts fit what year and make. So stick around and I'll show you the differences of the radiator core supports and which one would fit your year and make a truck. Hey guys, it's the Chad and I've spent a lot of time and money over the years buying the wrong parts for these old trucks. Now it is very confusing because GM did change these parts almost every year. Luckily, GM only made minor changes to the radiator core supports over this six year period. Now, if you're looking to buy a new radiator support, it's pretty easy. You just shoot over to LMC truck or classic parts, type in your year and make, put your credit card info in and you wait. But if you're cheap like I am, you'll probably shoot over to Craigslist, Marketplace, a swap meet or your favorite salvage yard looking for that perfect used one. Now buying used can save you a lot of money, but you do need to ensure you're buying the right one for your year and make a truck. Now these radiator supports look very similar, but they are very different. So let's take a closer look. As you look down here at my 1969 to 72 Chevrolet core support, and I can tell you it's a Chevrolet because it has two headlight buckets. Now the 69 to 72s had these protruding headlight buckets, whereas the 1967, 68 Chevrolet did not, as you'd see in this picture. When we talk about the GMCs, and bonus to GMC because they kept their radiator supports the same for all six years of this body style. It would look similar to the 69 to 72 Chevrolet, but it would have four protruding headlight buckets, as you see in this picture. Now again, these are urine make specific, but you can make alterations to these. You can pry off the protruding buckets of the 69 to 72s and try to make your 67, 68 fit into it, or you can take the protruding buckets off another one and put it on your 67 and 68, but you need to be very precise with this because a lot of times the headlights won't line up or won't fit into your grills properly. Sometimes it's just easier to go find a better used one or buy a brand new one. If you guys are getting value from my radiator support video, support me by hitting the like button, subscribe and ring the dinger. Another difference on the radiator supports you would find is the 1967 and 68 used a different mounting bushing to the frame that the 69 to 72 Chevys did. That was because the hood and fender height was different on 67, 68 versus the 69 to 72s. Another difference you would find would be on AC trucks versus heater trucks. Now there would be a front AC condenser on the front side of the radiator support, so you might have some extra holes over here where the heater trucks, you probably wouldn't. Other differences you might find would be down here on the radiator pads or support pads. Now, if you have a smaller radiator or you move up to a four core radiator, you might have to change these pads out to a bigger one and also the top mounting brackets. Even if you are buying used, another problem area on these would be the old battery trays due to corrosion or battery acid leaking over the years, but no big deal. They're just bolt on so you can go and buy an aftermarket one and bolt it right back on and you're back in business. Now you've seen the differences of the 67 to 72 GM radiator core supports. Now the decision is yours. Are you going to go out and buy a brand new radiator support? Or are you going to be like me and hit the salvage yard and try to find a good used one? Now if you are going the route of buying used, stick around for my next video and I'll show you how I restored my old salvage junk into looking something like this. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.